Hello everyone. Uh, I have my wonderful patient, the 22 uh, year old. She uh, had her first and the only set of implants from the 28th of uh, February, uh, 22, just uh, four weeks and one day into her augmentation, she explanted. Now you, um, right before uh, we went to the operating room, we gave like a video testimony we know, but tell us how you were feeling once you got the implants. When I got the implants, I first noted the, noticed the onset of symptoms two weeks in and realized I needed to get them out right away. So like he said, I got them out four weeks and one day after, and I definitely see an improvement in so many ways, um, which really has me believing in BII. I believed in it before, but it just really goes to show. Yeah, just two weeks in, I was feeling miserable. Now, you had 25 of those symptoms, of the many symptoms uh, of the 55 that I have on my questionnaire from eating. For example, you couldn't eat. You, you had no. severe nausea. Now, how is your food now? You're just six days out from your surgery. I have a big appetite, so <laughs> that's improved. Yeah, I couldn't eat before. I lost 15 pounds. I was 130 pounds going into the surgery and 100, like. 15 pounds or something after and that was even with my implants in so that probably even added a couple pounds So oh. I lost a lot of weight in that amount of time and now I'm hoping to gain that back because I definitely have more of an appetite Good 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 and you know what as you will see you had the tingling in your arms and legs mm -hmm. And remember the question was as you came to me is it really the implants? And I said, well, no one has walked into my clinic and said the implants are making him healthier. And this is clearly by definition what is breast implant, unless someone young, 22, who is healthy as yeah. anyone no can be. No autoimmune issues, no thyroid issues. We tested that at the ER. Perfect. Fine. Yeah, you went to the emergency room yeah. complaining and you had all these symptoms. And now the only thing that lingers on day six is what? Uh, the, the thing that lingers is the joint pain in my knee, it's very minimal and kind of if I lean towards it, um, the left is worse than the right and then a little bit of almost like a groaning pain feeling behind my knees, um, just like a little muscle achy, some numbness and weakness in the lower legs, but it's barely there and everything else has gotten better. We will hear from you, uh, you know, I'll see you again on Friday. We'll hear from you in a month, you know, it, and, you know, time will be witness. Your eyes, if you look at your face before and after, that in itself speaks for itself, minus even any talk, any placebo effect. Yes. Now, what will you say to someone who says this is all in your mind? You controlled all of this. It's definitely not in your mind. I took a picture of my eyes the day before surgery and the day after, and the difference is drastic. And I think if you can even see that visual representation, it's pretty clear that the implants were doing something to me, if that's any indication, which I think there is. And um, it's definitely real. Plus all the nausea, plus all yeah. this tingling numbness in the yeah. arms, you know, and again. I felt like I was dying. My throat felt like I was choking. I can like finally breathe, swallow. My heart has calmed down, like so many things. Right, and this is BII as a breast explant uh, specialist. I'll tell you, you have what is classic representation in someone who just had him for hours, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so now what would you say to someone who is interested in getting implants? Ultimately, the decision is yours, but I do want all my friends. I know if my friends ever came to me, I would make sure that they were fully educated. I would say err on the safe side and don't do it just because of the complications that can happen. And I've experienced them firsthand. And I think the natural body is a beautiful thing that you can hopefully eventually embrace because it's just not worth the risk. It risks. It's scary. I don't want anybody else to feel what I felt. Right. And you know, the FDA warning where they said that the plastic surgeon must discuss and have you sign and acknowledge Number one, the implants are not meant to be in the body forever. Number two, they are associated with lymphoma, even the smooth ones. And number three, uh, that the breast implant illness absolutely exists. You know, these were the warnings uh, that are significant, they're important, they're absolutely real and as real as any other illness like diabetes, high blood pressure, you know, lupus. And so this is, uh, these are not safe devices that only hurt the body and they only harm the body. Uh, now, thank you very much for sharing your journey. And again, you're a special case in the sense that you just had them for 29 days to be exact. And look at the rebound that you've had just in six days. And we will continue to hear from you. And thank you very much for sharing your journey. How was your anesthesia experience? 
Oh, it was good. I was definitely loopy coming out of it. I don't remember what I said. I was talking to my mom. I don't remember anything, but um, it wore off pretty quickly once I was home. I, I, I actually ate a good meal. I was feeling great. Um, next day, I didn't have any effects, so I, I really liked it a lot, more than general anesthesia. Yeah, and this was the twilight sedation, yeah. the very, very uh, deep sedation. You were breathing on your own. You're calm and comfortable, and you're actually uh you know the rebound relatively very well and there is no paralysis involved and so it's very effective very safe yeah, very I comfortable yeah. yes yes and, uh, and you did not need drains as you can see clearly yeah. right. weak yeah. out no hematoma no seroma doing well yeah pretty, all right great thank you very much thanks for sharing thank your journey you so much dr khan thank yeah. you everyone